Hello there! Welcome to a very zoomed in first video of the presentation. Well, it depends on what order you click on things, but here we are anyway. What we're we doing? We're doing health testing. In case you couldn't tell by the rest of the slide, that's what we're doing. Uh, I don't know if you can see me in half of this because my phone is currently stuck to a bed in order for it to be landscaped. So I don't want anyone else filming this because it would be quite cringeworthy. Anyway, here we are. We're going to have a look at this. It's a very colourful display I've put together on a very saggy. Whiteboard. Um, what we got going on here? Then we've got a for help testing. We've got written there and there. We've got a chart with all kinds of lines going on it. We've got a cross with a red bit on it, like a med kit or something. A video game. Uh, we've got a checklist because that's kind of sciencey. Got some scales and a stopwatch, which we all know a good self testing. We've got some key questions. They're right here. First of all, what is it? What is health testing? It is testing your health? Glad you asked. It's a pretty easy question to answer. Anyway, we got these, uh, we work out health testing by testing your health. To work out how healthy you are by testing your health. And that's in a nutshell. Anyway, that's it. No, I'm joking. Um, what tests? What do you mean what tests? That wasn't very well structured of a question, but I guess I'll answer it anyway. The tests that we did and that we, well, you can see on the slides, but the ones we actually used for to collect our data would be the BMI test and range of motion, as these were written down on the thing that Aaron gave us. So we did them. Um, the scores for this and linking in the next question, normative data. Not really a question, but I'll do my best to answer it. We've got um, for client number one a score of. 31.79 hmm that's not brilliant not exactly for a 16 to 17 year old where the normative data says it should be around 25.9 whereas client 2 a little bit healthier got 24 point uh, no, not even a point point zero 24 just 24 24 compared to the 25 oh I missed off a point nine of the 25 beforehand so there were difference slightly yeah, um, this shows that the client number one is suffering from maybe a little bit of obesity, as it said on the chart when comparing all the colours and everything. It said obesity. The other one, borderline obesity, like still healthy, but don't give it too much healthier, uh, way much more. That's because client number two has a bit more muscle for their frame because of the sport that they play. Doing Olympic lifting in rugby, this requires you to be a bit stronger, put a bit more size. I haven't ever really seen a tall, skinny, well, maybe a youth, but you think a rogue player, you think big, macho guy, not skinny little boy. Um, whereas the first client is a footballer, you wouldn't really expect them to have a BMI of 31.7. No. Anyway, we go on to the range of motion test now. What's range of motion? It's how much you can move. We should have explained the other one like this, BMI, but we know what BMI is. I hope so, at least, or else you're kind of stuck. <laughs> uh, um, anyway, range of motion, how much movement you can get from a joint. I've got here the soleus and gastrocnemius test. Two different clients here. The first one scored a 19, and the second one scored an 18. This will be how much, I'm not going to be able to really get my leg up here, the movement you could get from your ankle. So you'd hold it, like pretend this is my leg and this is my foot, and I push it back and then get your protractor out. What's that? What's it saying? The normative data for both of these would be 15 to 20. So both of them have very good flexibility in their ankles. But this could be expected because both of them are. Uh... Give me the words. Come on. Come on, words work with me. Olympic lifters, so they're going to be required to have a very good flexibility, which obviously shows in that test. But not the best, because also play rugby, so ankle injuries, yeah, you can occur and tight muscles and stuff, so it's a bit of a two funny sports to mix together. But they're doing it. It's happening. Anyway, sporting world, where does this come into it? BMI is constantly used to monitor different athletes. And everything, a range of motion will be used, like I said, in Olympic lifting, because they need you to be flexible, same as gymnastics. So it's pretty much all over the place. It's all different bits of data that everybody will need. Uh, sports universities will probably use this data. 
to make some kind of sciencey graph like this. So like crazy, like the drawings I've just done. Um, that is essentially it for health testing. There you go. You want more? Click on the next slide.